were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't, get yourself a club or a torch. Beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Are they slow moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. Are you a Republican? Because if you are, just tell me now. You don't have to answer that, Stevie. There's a hole, there's a hole In the bottom of my soul Where feelings come, feelings go And they fall through in nowhere I had made a film called October Moon, uh, which came out in 2005. Now, I had worked on... Um, at that point, I had worked on 22 films. Um, I think... Um, October Moon was probably the fifth or sixth film that I had directed. Pretty much simultaneously, a film called Hellbent had come out, um, along with October Moon. So those were really the only two gay-themed horror films that had come out at that point. And I think as a result of that, um, I got pigeonholed into only being this guy who made gay horror films and horror thrillers. Um, and um, that didn't, it did not help... <laughs> that I immediately went from October Moon, which was a success, into October Moon 2, November Sun. Um, so it's like two gay horror films in a row. Um, so as I wrapped up October Moon 2, and people were saying that that was the only thing that I knew how to do, even though I had done 22 previous films, um, I was like, I need to do something completely different. A, I don't want to do another horror film right now. B, I don't want to do anything that's gay-themed. Gay Y'all, my wife is being introduced on the Mara. How's y'all like to show your room there? What in tardation? <laughs> what do you mean y'all want some privacy? <laughs> Shy of Normal actually started life as um, uh, a series of stage plays at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Uh, my cousin, Brian Vanderhoff, was dating a girl named Dana Ignarski at the time. And a part of her senior project was to... Um, produce, write, direct, and act in these this series of little vignettes, essentially, that were based on new life experiences. And the program itself was called Just Shy of Normal. So I, I went up and, and watched these three little plays, and I thought they were so charming and so just funny. And I turned to my partner and said, you know, these would make great little movies. And he said, well, why don't you then? And I thought, well, why don't I? So, um, so I optioned the rights from all the kids. Uh, it was Frank Anderson, Rose, uh, Rose Wazlewski, and uh, Greg North. And my idea was to take the cast itself, uh, right from the stage, put them in front of the camera, have them act it all out. I thought we could do it for really cheap. We could do it really quick. Um, everybody already knew all of their lines. Um, and I would kind of do it in somewhat of a stage setting to make the filming go a lot faster and easier. Thanks for the advice, Roy, but I had a really rough night. I need to get some sleep. She sure heard your wife. She was crying all damn night. We shot Delivery, which was the pregnancy story, in two days at a nursing home in West Allis, Wisconsin, uh, and just kind of dressed the place up to look a little bit more like a, like a hospital. Um, but the room that we set up in was enormous. It was the cafeteria of this nursing home. So, um, I, I mean, I couldn't even tell you, maybe it was 2,400 square feet. It was, it was enormous, this enormous room. So light sources weren't that great. We only had like three or four lights, as I recall. We had a crane for like one day. I think we only had it for half a day. So we got like three crane shots or something. The one of which is used when Chelsea, Chelsea screams, fuck, you know, after she, after Jeannie has the baby that, she, that Chelsea had wished that she'd had sex-wise. Um, we shot Peter Kills Himself in my own home, in my entertainment room, and we shot that in a single day. Then the third story, which was The College Girls, which is what's included, turned out to be a little bit more of a problem. Numerous occasions, the, uh, the girls who had been hired didn't show up, um, canceled at the last minute, they had classes that they forgot about, they forgot to take off of work. And um, I had crews and other cast all set up, and these phone calls wouldn't come in until everybody was already there. 
I was also kind of uh, kind of frustrated at the time, just in general with the film in industry. I had just come off of October Moon 2, November Sun, which had been a really, really stressful shoot um, and process. It had taken three years from start to finish for that film. So by the time I got to the college girl segment and and these delays kept happening and it wasn't getting done, I just kind of threw my hands up in the air and said, F it. Um, I need to walk away from this for a while. I was investing, for the first time, I was investing my own money into it versus an investor. So I didn't have anybody to answer to. I put it on shelf thinking I'd do it just for a couple of months, just to kind of let myself calm down, clear my head, um, and probably and just hire a new cast for that final segment. And it turned into three years. Turned into three years that I let it sit on the shelf and literally collect dust. And I went on and I did some other work. I did Sleepless Nights, which was a documentary on the Slumber Party Massacre films. Um, I did some more journalism. Um, just kind of really cleared my head of it. 